Hey, what's up, guys? It's Fontek over here with another video, and in this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6 running iOS 11.3 beta 2 to an iPhone 6 running iOS 7.3.3. So, as always, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pull up both devices here. This is the one running iOS 7.3.3, this is the one running iOS 11.3 beta 2. For some reason, this one is kind of darker, so I can barely see the thing on camera. Um, so both phones have the same internals, of course. Everything's identical here. So let's see if iOS 7.3.3 is faster than 11.3.2, beta 2, and booting up, because iOS 7.3 was about beta 1 was about the same, and 2.5 was faster than 10.3.3 in booting up. But that's a beta, so let's see. Maybe it can't differ till the end. We're expecting like maybe five or six more betas. So nope, actually, Wow. Oh, so that was weird though. So iOS 11.3 beta 2 was actually faster. 10.3.3 is taking some time. All right, so here comes iOS 10.3.3. Right, guys, so both phones are up here and just nothing's running in the background. And let's go. First up, phone dialer. It was slightly faster on iOS 11.3 beta 2 going for Safari and it seemed identical. I think this one was slightly faster and slowed Apple.com. Uh, iOS 10 was slightly faster. Let's try scrolling down and up. Okay, yeah, the uh, uh, scrolling is definitely smoother on iOS 11. I'm leaving was about the same speed. Going for clock, slightly faster on iOS 11. The beta one, going for weather, slightly faster than this here. Next up, going for stocks, iOS 10, leaving was slightly faster than iOS 11 there, going for reminders, about the same, going for home kit, slightly faster there, a millisecond or so, going for notes. So slightly faster than the 10. All right, guys, now for some third-party apps here. So first up, launching Geekbench 4. It responded faster on the 11, and was actually faster because it did respond so a second or so before the other one. Running Mario Run. Both are taking some time here. So okay, iOS 11, uh, 10 was slightly faster. Let's see which one loads at the end faster. Okay, so iOS 11, 10 wins. Going out, going for Instagram. Both are terribly slow. All right, so 10 was faster. To the benchmark. Slide win for the iOS 10 here. Going for temper run two. So it's about the same, I mean, uh, iOS 11.3 beta 2 and iOS 10.3.3 is really similar, but I think the first beta was actually faster. So if you wanna watch this video, I'm gonna link it down below, iOS 11.3 uh, beta 1 versus 10.3.3, as well as I'm gonna link 11.2.5. So the difference is not that big at all. I mean, they're almost identical here. Some stutter there, well, yeah, definitely some stutter there on iOS 11.3 beta 2. Coming out, now Subway Surfers. So yeah, the loading screen appeared first in i7.3, beta 2. Let's see which one. Okay, yeah. So i7.3 was faster here. Now guys, for some RAM management here. So I'm gonna just uh, try the older apps. Phone. Kept in the background on iOS 11. 10. Safari. Now we both had to refresh. So first impression on iOS 10 seems like it actually kept in the background, but that doesn't work. So I think it kept it this time. I refresh on the 11, going for weather. So 10 is doing good. 11 is kind of be behind here. So yeah, definitely iOS 10 is better with keeping apps in the memory. Going for reminders. Definitely 10 is better here. Going for HomeKit. Same. 
going for Geekbench or let's go for Notes now. So def definitely a win for iOS 10. Going for Super Mario. Wow. No, both have to refresh. Going for Instagram. I'm not Geekbench. So iOS 10 is definitely be better, way better when it comes to RAM management to the benchmark. Both did great here. Going for Instagram. All right, so definitely iOS 10 is better here. So iOS 11 ruined RAM management for our one gigabyte devices here. Going for Temperon. Okay, so both had to refresh. One more game here, Subway Surfers. That was a final thing. Okay, so both kept it because it was a very final thing we did here. All right, guys, right now, guys, for a CPU test here. And around benchmark, I'm just gonna show you the scores here. Guys, okay, so here you have the scores. So the one running i7.3 beta 2 had a higher score in single core as well as multi core score. So 300 more in single core score as well, 200. I want to say, guys, that this phone has a higher wear level and this phone has a peak performance, but I'm not getting anything close to 2900. So I used to get 2900 multi core score on iPhone 6, on iOS 8, for example, but I'm not getting that anymore. So just gonna show you that. Uh, the battery thing here, so maximum capacity 96%. It shows me here, guys, the peak performance capability. So um, I can't choose because it's, it's at supporting normal peak performance. So that means the phone is at maximum performance. And even with that, this the 10.3.3 was faster almost all the time. So yeah, so nothing better here on iOS 11.3.2. Guys, for the final test here on to the benchmark, just gonna start it up and just speed things up here. All right, guys, so here you have the scores so of the iPhone 6 running iOS 7.3.3, got a better score than the one running iOS 11.3 beta 2. Uh, so uh, details here, guys, 3D was better on this one, so that's about it, UX is the same, CPU, slightly better on the 10.3.3, RAM, sort of identical, so 7,284, 7,283, so it's basically the same, one point higher here, everything else, so 3D was better here, but 3D is not accurate. CPU okay makes sense to be better here. All right, guys, so that was a comparison between the iPhone 6 running 10.3.3 and the one running 11.3 beta 2. I want to say the battery life on the one with a, uh, both lost about the same battery percentage. So one lost 21%, the other lost 22. The one lost 22% is one on 11.3 beta 2, though. I want to say, guys, that the one on the beta 2, 11.3, basically has a less wear level. So it had peak performance 96%, where the one on iOS 10.3.3 had 84% battery life. So 16% wear level and it still performed battery was performance wise the same speed was even better on 10.3.3 even with that high wear level So I hope you guys like the video subscribe for more content and peace out